Redditors who have been on a reality TV show such as Hardcore Porn or Pimp My Ride or Porn Stars How Fake Was It? When my wife and I were looking to buy a home in Michigan, our agent told us we had the opportunity to be on House Hunters if we wanted to. We talked to some person from the show, and they told us the basic process, we'd buy whatever home we wanted, then they would film us there before we moved in, as though we were just looking at the place as well as looking at two other prospective places that they had selected. Then we'd ultimately choose the house we'd already bought and live happily ever after. We watched a few episodes, or I did, my wife already liked the show, and I convinced my wife of how stupid they would likely make us look, so we passed. While at a bar in NYC, someone approached my dad and his buddy asking if they wanted to be on a gourmet cooking show. Naturally, they agreed and asked if I, 14 years slash show at the time, could join. The promoter said of course, gave them the location, and told them to tell me not to eat a big lunch as this would be a large multi-course meal at an upscale restaurant. I skipped lunch that day after a rough lunchtime soccer match, and left school early to meet my father and his friend. We arrived in a strange part of Manhattan, near the Hudson, in a rather dead part of the city. We got a call from the producer saying sorry man. Wrong location. We're sending a car to pick you up immediately. We hopped into a taxi and, boom, you're on cash cab. The bald-headed host declared as lights flashed above our heads. So, we lost, got kicked out in Chelsea, and ended up spending our own money on food and a taxi home. Very upsetting frown. I have several friends that were on the first season of Moonshiner, Discovery Channel. It is totally fake. I mean, they do make moonshine, but what you see on the show is not what it's like in real life. Most of them are licensed to sell alcohol, and do sell it locally at the package stores, the others only make a little to have for themselves and a few friends, more to keep up a family tradition than anything else. But the producers had them set up stills in the woods, and even told them what to wear to make it look more backwards, redneck, good old boys than anybody in this area has looked in 50 years. Most of us sat there, with the guys that were being filmed, watching the episodes and laughing at all the people that probably think this stuff is real, while drinking store-bought beer. The hard stuff is only for rare occasions, it'll rot your gut if you drink it all the time. Rare occasions equals Saturday nights. Not me, but my best friend was on 16 and pregnant. Now I don't know if this is always the case, but none of the drama on her episode was fabricated. However at one point, they did ask her to reenact a conversation that she had had with her mother off camera. The funny part is, they had her reenact it about a week after giving birth so she was no longer pregnant. To hide that, she wore a big sweatshirt and held a teddy bear in front of her tummy so you couldn't tell the difference. Edit, I've been getting a lot of questions from the good people over at r slash team and to be honest, I just don't feel comfortable divulging my friend's personal information in exchange for fake internet points. I've said just about as much as I'm willing to say without her permission. Maybe one day she'll do an AMA herself for you guys but I don't feel comfortable doing it on her behalf. I was on an episode of Wife Swap. One of the wives was a burlesque dancer, so her new husband had to MC a variety show of which she was the headliner. I was the juggler in that act. Full disclosure, I'm pretty sure all tape with me on it is on the cutting room floor. Anywho, pretty darn fake. The people are real, and lots of their interactions are real. But a ton of scenarios are staged. Okay, now we're going to plan the show, but make sure Wally, new husband, takes over. He'd never done anything showbiz before, so naturally we tried to help him. But the director kept telling us that he was in charge and he needed to be doing the planning. I caught a moment of a personal interview as well. Honest answers, but very much being steered by the camera crew and director. During the show, the crew said they needed to get sound levels so they had people sit quietly, clap politely, clap, clap loudly, etc. I'm fairly certain that was so they could have clips showing a range of responses. In the end, the whole show bit got about 4 seconds of time on screen. Waste of 2 days. No pay. 
I was on an Australian reality called Surprise Chef. The premise of the show was that the celebrity chef would meet someone at the supermarket and then cook dinner for them. On my episode I volunteered at an aquarium. The story in this episode was the chef met my boss at the supermarket, then cooked all the aquarium volunteers a nice surprise dinner. Of course this was all pre-arranged. There was no meeting by chance. We all knew what was happening so for the scene we all got surprised in the shark tank. We knew what was happening and did 7 takes of fake surprise. The celebrity chef cooked nothing. He went in for a few takes and an actual chef cooked all the food while the CC stood outside chain smoking. The food was average, basically local RSL quality, chicken parmi and profiteroles. I think I drew the short straw of things you get in a reality show, a shitty meal. Others get like cars or renovation makeovers. Edit spelling. I actually have three. A friend of mine was on The Bachelor. This was years ago and she ended up being one of the last four girls. She said they were constantly fed alcohol, were put on a strict sleep schedule where they were literally put to bed and woken up. Also, there were no clocks anywhere, so all the girls were in the constant state of alcohol-fueled disorientation. There were no chance encounters where the guy is sitting on the couch and the girl goes up to tall to him, all of that is staged. Even their conversations were reshot over and over if the reactions weren't right or their wording was off. The entire thing was completely controlled and she said no one really knew their guy because none of their interactions were real. A friend of mine's house was on House Hunters. He wasn't on the show himself, but his house was the one that was picked. And yes, it was sold and all the paperwork was signed before they filmed. He was there when they filmed all the segments but wasn't allowed to be on camera. My wife was on America's Got Talent. She was a dancer for her friend Zacht. She said they lived in a tent for four days in the parking lot. She had a very positive experience. She said she met a lot of cool people and that it did feel genuine for the one episode she was on. Her friend made it through the drowned but got eliminated the following week. I was on a reality ambulance TV show when I was an EMT. The patients were real and their medical conditions were real. Everything else about the show was fake. When we filmed it was for a bariatric ambulance TV show. In the morning when the camera crew got there they filmed us driving lights and sirens around the parking lot. Then we did personal interviews where they let us talk about moving bariatric patients and how we felt about our jobs. Then they made us say a bunch of stuff that we normally would never say like without us these patients would die etc. They used these clips of the stuff they made us say and spliced it into the real stuff we said. Our actual ambulance transport scene in the TV show was 100% planned and scripted. The patient wanted to go to the ER and have some decubit ulcers looked at. However this patient being diabetic had a high blood sugar of 400 having just eaten and taken insulin. We took that and were forced to treat it like a life or death situation and then they used our earlier footage of saying things were life and death and are driving around the parking lot lights and sirens to make it seem like we were fighting for her life. In reality in about 30 minutes her sugar was going to go back down to normal and life would be good. The whole experience actually really turned me off to reality TV and made me realize how fake everything is. If people are interested I'm sure I can find the YouTube clip. I just have to double check and make sure I didn't sign a non-disclosure agreement. Edit, I found the clip and will post a link. I just want to make sure there isn't a non-disclosure agreement on file. Don't want to get in trouble for ruining reality TV for everyone lol. Edit, I finally talked to the company on Friday and they are still pitching this show to producers. So I cannot share the video. Sorry. This probably doesn't count but I interviewed for what not to wear. It started at a punk show on the west coast. On the east coast, you dress punk for a punk show. I just moved to the west coast and didn't get the memo that everyone would be wearing a plaid shirt and jeans so I was in full on regalia. So this woman approaches me and says she likes my outfit and that she works for a fashion show that she'd like me to be on, and asks for my contact info so she can follow up afterwards. 
Later on I get an email from her and find out it was what not to wear. Obviously this made me feel like complete shit since I felt like my outfit looked pretty nice. I battled a lot internally about whether or not I should enter. They told me I would get a prize of my choosing worth $20,000 plus an entire new wardrobe of fashion designer clothing, but the trade-off is that it would be really degrading and probably ruin my self-esteem, plus they would destroy all of my alternative clothing. They said I would have to get all of my friends and family on board so they could have interventions to tell me how bad all my clothes are. Eventually I decided money is money and went into the audition which was in the SAG building. I also decided I was going to hide all my favorite clothes so they couldn't destroy them. A filmographer was asking me some questions when the director walked in and dragged him out of the room. She came back in a minute later and told me she thought my outfit looked great, that she had no idea how I had ended up there but that I was welcome to recommend any other poorly dressed friends to the show. I guess in the end it was a confidence boost but $20,000 prize would have been pretty sweet, 